On live Doppler radar, you can clearly depict the eye wall of Hurricane Ian. This is the worst of the wind, the worst of the rain. We're looking just northeast of Babcock Ranch, and it is these bright colors you're seeing right here. Let's go ahead and circle that for you. So we're seeing vivid reds and greens popping up. Reds are signifying winds going away from the radar. Greens are winds going toward the radar. So we are seeing this area of rotation. In fact, this is the largest largest area we've seen in drought since 2000 into the afternoon. That's when we'll see some storms building in intensity. We still have about 20 minutes to go. You can see it's an electric start as well. We are seeing quite a bit of lightning packed into this thunderstorm. Record heat today. Get set to sweat. Tons of people out there trying to beat the heat. Jet skis. We've got people just getting in the water. We are already into the 90s. One of the most impressive videos we've seen all morning. You can see the debris lofted gusts could still be up to tropical storm force so we are still under tropical storm warnings what other communities need to be seeking shelter Carnes town getting down into the lowest level of your home that leaves 90 percent of the activity for after august 1st but what about specifically for the sunshine state conditions continuing to deteriorate 1027 north captiva bokelia 11 13. well let's talk about something much more beautiful and that is our gorgeous weather yeah if you can be out outside today, Check you got to do it. Go to the beach or something because I know the Saharan Desert causes some other impacts, but the good impact is that it's very dry. Yeah, we're really not seeing a lot of rain, so definitely take advantage of this during the heart of rainy season. Not too often we are able to actually see rain coverage down to 20 to 30 percent. Oh man, take a look at some of these views down south from Marco Island, Naples, absolutely breathtaking. Up north Cape Coral, 88 degrees, almost to the 90s throughout southwest Florida and continuing to climb. It's going to feel even hotter than that. Touching base with live Doppler radar sweeping mostly clear today just seeing some of those pop up downpours well offshore from the Lee County Islands about 10 to 15 miles off to the west there and we are in store for near record heat today get set to sweat 95 degrees is what I'm tracking for Fort Myers that's just a couple degrees shy of the record we set back in 1979 at 97 degrees all right we've got a very tropical air mass in place dew points into the mid to upper 70s it makes a huge difference in how it actually actually feels to us when it comes to those heat index values. That's factoring in those muggy conditions. Take a look at this. It's going to feel anywhere from 100 to 110 degrees by the late afternoon, and it's still going to feel like the triple digits even into tonight. So if you can wear lighter colors today, stay extra hydrated, maybe even limit your time outdoors. Believe it or not, we actually dodged the heat advisory today because it's Southwest Florida. We have a really high criteria has to feel like 108 degrees or even hotter for us. Meanwhile, you've got millions of Americans under in central U.S. facing those heat advisories and excessive heat warnings throughout the day today. All right, taking you through the next couple of days, high pressure is going to dominate the forecast. This is sometimes referred to as a heat dome because that air is sinking. So what happens is it really suppresses that air from rising and generating more thunderstorms. And so with fewer storms in the forecast, it's going to be an increase in temperatures. So over the next week, check out this a couple degrees above average. Average high for mid-July, 92 degrees for Fort Myers. So we're going to be running a couple degrees above that day after day here. You're definitely going to want to pay close attention to the heat. This is also no surprise. Of course, we're under the influence of high pressure. But in the bigger picture here, according to Climate Central, since the 1970s, we've actually tacked on an extra 25 more summer days running above normal. So we're generally seeing those summer months increasing in temperature. Now over the next week, here comes those overnight lows stuck in only the upper 70s to low 80s. But just like we're talking about the next couple of days with isolated shower and storm coverage down to 20 to 30 percent, eventually we will lose a grip of that high pressure. So as that ridge breaks down, scattered storms back in the forecast for Friday, rainy season in full swing by the weekend. So don't put that umbrella away just yet and the heat and the humidity not leaving us anytime soon. That's your NBC2 first alert forecast.